If you love Euphoria, if you love Lexi Howard, or you just want to know how to become the main character of your life in 2022, then this video is definitely for you because in this video, I'm going to be revealing three secrets that we can learn from Lexi Howard in Euphoria Season 2 in order to uplevel our lives, take control of our lives, and freaking become the main characters of our lives that we deserve to be. <laughs> And as a disclaimer, I'm just gonna say that you don't need to know Euphoria, you don't need to have watched the show in order to watch this video. But for those of you who love the show and have watched my reactions, this video is going to be so freaking fun. Without further ado, I miss this so much, so let's get into the freaking tips. So the first thing that we can learn from Lexi actually comes from our favorite ships on the show, Nate and Cassie. I'm joking. If anyone took that seriously, or if that's anyone favorite ship you have some serious issues get help but our favorite ship on the show Fesco and Lexi and when it comes to Fez and Lexi unlike Cassie Lexi always maintains her own life apart from Fesco while we see Cassie constantly sitting around and wait for Nate to text her to go out with him or literally like do everything in her power to get him to notice her and be super dysfunctional when he's not around or when he does not text her or talk to her for Lexi this is not the case Lexi does not depend on Fesco to make her happy and doesn't really like stop functioning unlike Cassie when Fesco is not around. While they're both incredibly happy when they're together and they're so freaking cute together, they still have their own lives apart from each other and not being with Fez does not really prevent Lexi from actually doing what she wants. And here's where the first secret to be the main character is revealed from Lexi's transformation, which is that you cannot depend on others to feel happy. You cannot depend on others to do the things that you want to do, which is also something that I've learned in my life one day when I was scrolling through TikTok and I basically saw this TikTok of friends running around in the rain and I was feeling so freaking like I was missing out because I didn't have friends to go out and like run in the rain with because I was stuck at home and all of my friends were off to university. But then I felt like I cannot let that hold me back from doing something that I want which was going for a walk at that point and this is what happened. Okay, so I found this tree and I kind of have like a desperate urge to climb it and I don't know I might like fall and break something. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me. I feel like this is kind of like a weird place to film. This was kind of like such a weird experience for me. Like I didn't remember that the spot existed pretty much. One of the people that I dated, this was also like our place here. I don't know, it's so freaking nostalgic. Like I just, it feels as if I can see like both of us like sitting on those swings. But I'm not sad in any freaking way. It was more like this low-key like a main character experience. Like it's weird to see how many things these swings have seen me go through. My whole life, I've been depending on my friends or someone that I liked to go somewhere, to do fun activities and to make memories, run in the rain, look out at the beautiful city. But waiting for someone else to do what you want or to make you happy is actually giving your power away to an outside source. It's literally like making yourself the side character to their story because your story is not in place unless they're there. In the episode of Lexi's play, we see Lexi Lexi go through the play and still shine like a star on stage despite the fact that Fesco could not be there. She was sad that Fesco couldn't come, but she didn't let that stop her from being the main character and keeping her story going. So don't be like Cassie, constantly waiting for your Prince Charming, or in this case a douchebag with no empathy. Have your life apart from other people and be on the freaking screen. Be like Lexi. 
And speaking of Lexi's play, in season 2, we finally see Lexi go for something that she wants, despite it being incredibly scary to her. She's really scared and worried about the response that she's gonna receive from others, but she still does the play because it is something that is important to her and it is something that makes her happy. And despite Cassie's little stunts, during her play, Lexi still picks herself up and finishes it like the freaking main character that she deserves to be. So, the secret to reveal is that doing what you love can be freaking scary sometimes. Whether it's that you're afraid of rejection, you're afraid of the response from other people, or you're afraid of failure, or any other fear that you have regarding that thing that you're incredibly passionate about and that thing that you're pretty much like dreaming about doing. You may want to publish a book, make music, start a YouTube channel, enter a contest. And speaking of contests, I have a huge freaking favor to ask you guys. Also, so I'm sick and that's why I look so bad. I decided to enter a contest and basically you can vote for me once for free and if you guys would do that it would mean the world to me it literally takes just like two minutes of your time i'm gonna put the link in the pinned comments and in the description so you just scroll down go to the free vote i'm literally like taking a chance right now on something that i really love because youtube is my dream and i feel like it's really fun to participate in these kind of things and if you do vote for me and you want to talk to me on instagram you can dm me afterwards and you can send me the screenshot that you voted for me I kind of really want to see where this goes and i'm gonna take you guys along with me if anything happens with it and show you guys everything and like do lives and everything so if every single one of you that is watching this goes to the link and votes once it's gonna add up so much thank you so much in advance i freaking love you guys so much or it can maybe even be something as simple as talking to the person that you like but fear might be holding you back which is also what we saw in lexi's case in more than one scenario while in the past she would let her fear hold her back in season two she does not in season two we even see her go to fresco's shop even though she's worried about it and she used to not be the person who was an action taker and saw herself more as an observer she still took action to go and talk to fresco and it led into the amazing interaction that they had so what we can learn from this is that taking chances will make you feel alive and will make you feel like you're in control of your life don't let fear hold you back and rob you of amazing moments that that you might be able to have. Count down from five to one and go for what you wanna do. I can tell you guys, I was so scared to start my YouTube channel. I actually let that hold me back for such a long time because I was afraid of how people would perceive it, how if someone found it at school, I would get made fun of so much. But honestly, I felt like that robbed me of so many amazing experiences that I'm having right now. And such an amazing feeling that comes from interacting with you guys and making these videos and just like sharing my opinion and my passion with the world so i can tell you guys that whatever you want anything is possible and if you really 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 want it you're gonna get it my dream is to one day get to 1 million subscribers or maybe even more than that and the third one, which is honestly the most important point and what I feel is like the biggest secret to becoming the main character is Lexi's transformation right here. And I was like, TV show, the sidekick is the lead. So we see Lexi go from feeling like an observer to actually saying that the side characters are the main characters as well. Because as long as this is your life, you are the main character in it. It is not the question of, are you the main character? It is the question of, do you behave like a main character? And do you actually let yourself be the main character of your life? You just have to realize it, own up to it, and act like one. You're the one that holds the power. And bonus tip, listen to some great music while you're at it. So I hope this video inspired you guys to step into your main character energy and these tips are going to help you become the main character of your life just like Lexi and I hope you guys liked this video and my analysis of Euphoria. If you did then definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know who your favorite character is, if you guys want the Cassie video next, and let me know which other characters you would want me to do down in the comments below and I freaking love you guys guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>